With every exciting new Apple OS release, there are inevitably going to be some devices that are left behind. So let's run through every iPhone, iPad, Mac, and watch that are supported by the latest software that was announced at WWDC 2022. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with 9to5Mac, and first up, let's talk about iOS 16. Let's talk about iOS. Compatibility runs from the latest 2022 iPhone SE all the way down to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. That means it also includes the 10 2020 SE, the 10S and 10S Max, iPhone 10R, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max, as well as the iPhone 12, the 12 Mini, the 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max. And rounding it out, we have the iPhone 13, 13 Mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. Now, just because a device supports iOS 16 doesn't mean that it will be able to take advantage of all the new features. For example, lifting subject from the background of an image or removing the background altogether requires an iPhone with an A12 Bionic chip or later. The iOS 16 developer beta is available right now with a public beta coming next month. And for more information on iOS 16, hit the links down in the description. Moving on, let's talk about iPad OS 16. Our vision for iPad OS. With new offerings like improved multitasking, an updated mail app, and new collaboration and security features for Safari. Designed with pro users in mind, the iPad now offers more multitasking gestures as well as supports external displays. And here's the rundown of all of these supported iPad devices with iPad OS 16. First up, we have the iPad mini, fifth and sixth generations, the iPad, which is the fifth through ninth generations, iPad Air, third through fifth generations, and all models of the iPad Pro. If you're not quite sure which iPad you have, go to Settings, General, About, and you'll see your iPad's model name with the generation next to it. Next up is Mac OS 13 Ventura. With Apple transitioning to its own silicone and the M2 chip just revealed, this will be limited to newer devices. Supported devices include the 2017 iMac and later, 2017 iMac Pro and later, 2018 MacBook Air and later, 2019 Mac Pro and later, 2018 Mac Mini and later, 2017 MacBook and later, and the 2022 Mac Studio. Mac OS 13 Ventura will bring a new way to work across apps and windows with the Stage Manager feature, which automatically organizes open apps and windows so users can concentrate on their work and still see everything in a single glance. Additionally, Handoff now comes to FaceTime, allowing users to start a FaceTime call on one Apple device and seamlessly transfer it to another Apple device nearby. And last but not least, we have Watch OS 9. And the big news here is that it won't be available for the Apple Watch Series 3. Coming later this fall, here's the list of supported devices. We have the Apple Watch Series 4, Series 5, Series 6, the Apple Watch SE, and the Apple Watch Series 7. Watch OS 9 adds new customizable watch faces, an enhanced workout app, sleep stages, and an AFib history feature. With these new features and bigger displays, Apple decided to cut support for the Apple Watch Series 3. So a lot of great features here if your devices can handle it. Me personally, I feel attacked because my iPhone 8 barely makes the cut and I won't be able to take advantage of all these new features and it might finally be time to retire my 2015 MacBook Pro. Seth, I'm gonna need a raise. All right, and be sure to watch Miles hands-on with iOS 16 developer beta, as well as Derek's coverage of everything announced at WWDC 2022. I'm Jordan, you can usually catch me over at 9to5toys, and thank you so much for watching.